And tonight, this mother of five who was held behind bars for six days for what she calls a clerical error is telling her story only to 10 News. And our camera was there as she was released late tonight to her husband. 10 News anchor Aitika Milanes is here now. And Aitika, she told you she was terrified. Imagine Kim, she barely speaks English, wasn't getting any information about what was going on, and then she was jammed into an overcrowded cell, forced to sleep on a cold floor. Tonight she's back with her family, but still not out of the woods. <laughs> Tears of relief and happiness for Anya Bonderiva as she jumped into her husband's arms after being released from a detention center. I'm happy now. I'm so happy. The mother of five was arrested last Thursday as she and her husband returned from Russia and tried to drive back into the U.S. through the San Ysidro port of entry. Border patrol officer said, well, now you have to go to secondary inspection. Sergei Nikitin said the problem revolved around his wife's immigration papers. The couple married in 2008. They hired an immigration consultant in Los Angeles to take care of the paperwork. But Nikitin says the consultant didn't follow up with more forms and his wife's green card extension expired. They just took it away without saying anything. I was devastated. Nikitin contacted his congressman, Adam Schiff, desperate for help. Wednesday afternoon, we were with him when he got a call from Schiff's office. Wow, well, that's such a relief. <laughs> his wife was being released. We tagged along for that reunion mm. and then sat down with the couple. It was horrible. Bonderiva says she cried so hard for three days, her eyes couldn't produce any more tears. With no answers about when she would see her five young children again, she found herself pacing her cell. Like a lion in a cage, you know. Now, Anya was released with the promise that she would appear in immigration court to resolve this matter. We'll keep you posted. Aitika Milanis, 10 News.